We're all fed the same American dream. Baseball, American pie, a white picket fence, and a golden retriever. My name is Ari Swanzer. My name is Laith Ashley. I am a singer, songwriter, dancer, actor, and all-around entertainer. I'm actually in the middle of filming uh, my first a scripted show that I'm producing uh, called Fish Tank. I signed with Ford Models LA a couple months back, um, right before I, I moved here. I want to be a supermodel with a mint green Lamborghini in the Hollywood Hills. I came out at 17 and I was the prom king of my high school, not as a joke, because I won fair and square. I was going to play professional basketball as a woman um, overseas and in Europe. I do consider myself a leader, not a follower, and I do believe in doing what's right versus what's wrong. Uh, regardless of profit, Mr. Trump, um, I went there. So the first question that I'm asked, <laughs> what's going on downstairs? <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you had the surgery? Have you had the surgery? When people ask us about surgeries and our bodies, it's no different than asking any woman you pass in Beverly Hills. Like I would never ask X about her breast, her breast surgery. You know, so when you ask me about mine, you literally just invaded my personal space and my bank account. Rude. <laughs> it's just weird how people feel entitled to our bodies. They see trans as other, so they think that um, it's open as an open topic of yeah. discussion, or it's they're entitled. Yeah, to they're answers. entitled to those answers, and that that's not necessarily so. Oh, here's one. Um, what is your real name? And I'm like, it's a Reese. <laughs> Are you involved in sex work at all? Oh my god, I went to college. It's just a rude question that has a lot to do with stereotypes and the 90s and Eddie Murphy. <laughs> and we want nothing to do with that anymore. Oh my god, since we're a couple, they say, how do you have sex? To which oh, I all reply, the time. Like, like a, a man, man and, and a woman. woman. What are your gender pronouns? Good question. You know, if someone is gender non-conforming, they can go with they, them, there. But it's always about respecting that person. It's just about pronoun. respecting the person's pronoun, yeah. and it's personal. How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I would love Alice to ask me how I'm doing today. I'm a normal person who has like normal goals and dreams, and we go to Trader Joe's like everyone yeah. else to buy our grapes. What I would tell young trans people um, who are living at home with their families, make sure that before you come out that you are in a safe place place and you're in a position to care for yourself. There are hotlines and there are services, there are groups where people can gather um, that are like-minded and you can listen to each other's stories and um, you get that sense that you're not alone. If you uh, have a friend that's marginalized or different from the, what's considered the norm, you listen to that person's experience because that's the only way you're going to learn. People do a lot of talking, not a lot of listening. Like you have two ears and one mouth. Listen first and then make an assessment.